Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are comparing unit rate in our real world. Kelsey's favorite crackers are available in two different sizes. The two different size boxes and their prices are shown. We have crunchy crisp crackers, regular size, 10 ounces for $1.75, and we have crunchy crisp crackers that is the large size for 22 ounces at $3.75. Part A of this open response question, we are asked, what is the price per ounce of the regular size box of crackers? Show or explain how you got your answer. So we know that our regular size has 10 ounces in it for $1.75. So our ratio is $1.75 for 10 ounces. And we wanna know how much money, what is the dollars for one ounce? This would be our unit rate dollars per ounce. So we're going to use cross product property 10 times x equals $1.75 times 1. Then we're going to divide each side by 10 and identify that x is equal to 0 0.175. This is what we call a terminating decimal and because it's unit price we're going to leave it as it is. And if you ever look in a grocery store you'll notice that our unit prices is sometimes to a thousandth. So our answer is 0 0.175 dollars. So really you could round that to 18 cents but we're going to leave it the way it is for right now. Part B. Which size box of crackers has the lower price per ounce? Show or explain how you got your answer. So now we know that we found the price per ounce for the regular size was 175 thousandths of a cent and over of a dollar and now we're going to do crunchy crisp crackers so we're going to find out how much per ounce this is so we know that it costs three dollars and 75 cents for 22 ounces and we want to know how much per ounce so cross product property 22 times x is equal to 375. divide both sides by 22 and x is equal to 0 0.170 so we have an insignificant zero here, and it's just 17 cents as our answer. But just so we can compare, because we were asked to compare, we are going to keep it to the thousandth digit. Because we are asked which size box of crackers has the lower price per ounce. So now we can identify that the large size is less. Now part C. Kelsey has the following coupons. Coupon 1, she will save 50 cents off the total price when she buys two regular size boxes of Crunchy Crisp crackers. Coupon 2, she saves 30 cents off the price when she buys one large box of Crunchy Crisp crackers. Which coupon should Kelsey use to pay the lower price per ounce for crackers? And we are asked to show or explain how you got your answer. So we know we want the lower price per ounce, and we are gonna go and calculate coupon one first. So we're gonna save 50 cents off the total price when we buy two regular boxes. So regular boxes, we're buying two. So the first thing we wanna do is $1.75 times two, which is $3.50. So that's how much it costs to buy two 10 ounce boxes. Now we're gonna take off our 50 cent coupon, and we're gonna pay $3 for the two boxes. Now we wanna know what price per ounce we're paying because now we're paying $3 for 20 ounces, not 10 because we bought two boxes, we're gonna pay $3 for 20 ounces. We wanna know what cost that is per ounce. So cross product 20 times X equals three, divide both sides by 20 and we get that X is equal to 15 hundredths, which is 15 cents in this case. So we're gonna pay 15 cents per ounce for two regular size boxes with coupon one. Coupon two, we have one large size box and we're gonna save 30 cents. So we're gonna take our 375, subtract our 30 cent coupon, and we're gonna pay $3.45 for 22 ounces. So we're gonna take our 345 for 22 ounces and we wanna know how much per ounce. So cross product property 22 times X is equal to $3.45. Divide each side by 22, 
and we get that x is equal to 0 0.157, and again, we're going to leave it to the thousandths digit to compare, and it's money. So now we can go and collect everything we earned. Coupon 1 is 15 cents per ounce, and coupon 2 is 0 0.157 dollars per ounce. So we know that coupon 1 is the best unit rate.